Hi, and welcome to the webinar today. Uh, my name is Will Spencer. I'm the Customer Experience Manager here at Fasthost. And joining me today is Tom Coker-Jones, who is the Customer Engagement Manager or Specialist. Um, specialist, yes. Give me a promotion. Yeah, apparently so. Live on stream, love it. Um, today we're talking about using AI to improve your WordPress website. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of a brief overview just now, um, just so you can kind of decide whether you want to stick around any longer. Um, but essentially, uh, I went ahead and made my wait, made a website for a fake uh, business in Gloucester, just a, an arcade game, uh, arcade place. Um, built it using sort of information I thought that would be good and wording I thought would be good. And then I sort of did some exploration, find out what I could do with AI, what was actually useful, um, to try and get that perspective of a, a kind of a, just an average website owner who isn't really going to have much of a, a kind of an overview of AI. So I'm not super experienced at making websites. I'm definitely not a designer, that is for sure. Tom will, can, Tom will attest to that I, over the last month that I've been doing this. Um, so we, we're doing this, this to kind of share with you what we found useful, what we didn't find so useful, some of the pitfalls of using AI, um, and just like a few other tips and things like that that we kind of found across the way. So if, if you're really experienced building websites and using AI, this probably webinar is not going to give you too much extra. Um, but if you're kind of not really sure what AI is and how you can use it, keep watching and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be, give you something useful, you know. Yeah, I feel, feel like the point of this is not necessarily, we're not necessarily going to give you like expert advice on how you can use AI. It's more just like, here's the sort of things you may not have considered yeah. this can do to help you to build your WordPress website. Yeah. And I also made like a really cool button that looked like a space invader ship using AI. So, you, you know, you I did. mean, it's I, not on there anymore. Uh, it's been, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> as I said, not a designer. That one was uh, interesting, but it is a, it's a useful thing to see what you can use AI for. Um, so yeah, it should last about 20 minutes, half an hour, um, and we'll crack on with it. Okay. So what is AI? Uh, most of you are already going to know, but just as a bit of an overview, um, so it's a simulation of computer systems performing human tasks. There are many different sort of, uh, forms of AI being marketed today. You're going to see it's such a hot topic at the moment. Um, it's just kind of everywhere. Some things are AI, some things are kind of touted as AI and they're not really. Um, but yeah, the, the big thing recently has been ChatGPT, which has made it more um, a lot more easy to use and a lot easier to kind of get it to do what you want to do and things and, and a lot of places are leveraging that now. Um, and that machine learning has been around for years, um, but it enables software applications to become more accurate. Um, so the more data you feed into them, the more accurate they become. Just punch in my microphone. Um, yeah, it usually requires a lot of data to train train software. And that's where things like ChatGPT have come into their own because they've just got a wealth of information being fed into them. Um, a subset of that machine learning, which is deep learning, um, is the catalyst behind the recent AI advances like ChatGPT. So it's an artificial neural network. Um, and a lot of the the sort of the, the the tools and things we're talking about today utilize that that new kind of evolution, if you like, uh, of AI. Um, so next up, um, why should you use it? So, I mean, it makes life a lot easier. Is kind of the bottom line. Um, but since the introduction of ChatGPT, um, it's taken the tech world by storm. You, you're just seeing it everywhere now, and basically if you're not using it um you can get left behind in some senses it can just automate so many things for you make things like analytics and stuff just a lot easier um, and less time consuming um but generally text copy text generation um everything like that all this stuff that takes ages and you can't really think of and you need inspiration you can use ai to help you um, and if you're a smaller business with limited resources, yeah, the time saved and the skills that you can get from AI, which we'll kind of talk about a little bit a bit later on, like really invaluable. And like actually you can get it for without having to spend a load of money. So yeah, it's really, really useful tool. There are a few uh, things to think about with AI. Um, don't recommend relying solely on AI content to build your website. I'll show you a little bit of the, the website I built and some of the copy text it came up with it has a definite AI feel to it. So generally speaking, um, we would recommend using it for, for kind of inspiration and generating the bulk of it, but you, you can't copy and paste, uh, generally speaking. It's just not going to be good content. And also, um, you can find there can be copyright and ownership issues. So the way AI works, it's pulling from all the data that's getting fed into it. So ultimately, it's going to 
create stuff that's similar to what it's already seen and things like that and sometimes it can lead to copyright issues case in point uh, one of the images i generated for my website it generated me a nice pac-man arcade yes. which i mean it looked really nice however you know could could lead to, to copyright issues further down the line because it doesn't necessarily understand yeah. that stuff um generally speaking uh the with most of the sort of eulas and things like that you own the image but again if you've just basically copied copied someone's copyright and you're, you're still going to be in breach of it even if you kind of own the image that the ai has generated for you so a few things to be a bit careful around there um google's also clamping down on websites using ai generated content they're, they're going to detect it if you just copy and paste it it just looks like low effort because again spammers and things like that spammy website you can make a website really quickly uh with a lot of original text so you know um for me popping up i think uh there was a quite a quite a interesting one recently with an ai website that was made for um for a, a an event that was made using ai and it didn't quite live up to the the yes. expectations I, I probably shouldn't really go into too much detail no, it was uh, national news though so you know you probably know what we're talking about yeah so i mean you have got to be a bit careful so they do they do they yeah you can potentially uh you know not rank so well if you're just using it but you can use it and copy it and make it human if yeah. you like i think that second point is definitely specifically for you know uh, there's probably a much deeper topic to go into than we've got time for today but like that's yeah. that's a whole big thing with uh search engines right now and the fact that ai content is actually making search um cleanliness worse because it's just flooded now with ai content yeah um, so i think yeah this isn't us saying don't ever use ai content at all um, but if you like, if you're going to be making a website that's all AI content and you're just spamming stuff out, like I wouldn't expect that to last for too much longer. No, I think it might be a good time actually, uh, just to kind of show my sure. after website. So I built two websites basically, um, one that and they do you're using different themes, so it's not necessarily not necessarily fair. Um, but the one Tom's showing on screen now um, is the the website I made. Um, the second one when I was using uh, it's a, a theme called Divi uh, from Elegant Themes. It's got an AI plugin, so I just use that to generate a lot of the stuff. Um, the first website I made, I made completely on my own, and it, yeah, it wasn't quite as nice. But if you, could, I don't know if you can read the text on the screen here, but it, it's um, it, it's definitely got the AI kind of um, what's the word for it? Um, the AI touch. I don't know. I can't think yeah, of the right word yeah, for it there, but. You can um you can kind of see how we zoomed in a little bit. So yeah, it's 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 almost like the AI ate a thesaurus, and yeah, it's um it, it's very enthusiastic. Now you can change your tone and stuff in a lot of these, but you can just get a feel from reading it that it just doesn't read like a, a person has written it, um, which I didn't. Um, and also I generated the image using AI, and uh, the pool table is interesting. I mean, I, it would be a fun game of pool, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, like it'll, it passes on like an initial initial glance but yeah, yeah if you and that's one of the things you've got to be careful about with some of these ai images they, they sometimes have slight just i don't know an uncanny valley sort of yes. feel to them sometimes um so you have got to be a little bit careful um you can edit them uh, but yeah ultimately it is a little bit careful but that's what we're talking about yeah uh, when we're talking about like human yeah. touch and stuff like that um but yes in turn, utilize the strengths of AI. So it's really fast and it does allow you to generate structure for your content um, that you can then edit. So you can get it to do the, the bulk of it and then you can just apply your artistic flair, artistic flair to it. Um, and also a really good one is use, use your, on your existing content. Um, that theme I was using had a really cool thing where you could put your text in and it would generate some more. Um, again, we'll go through some of this stuff in a minute um, with some of the tools and things that you can use. Um, and it's not generated, it's not limited to generated content. So chat GPT um, is kind of the craze, but there's so many tools and we're going to go through that in a little bit now. Um, but kind of if you can think of something, there's probably a chance AI, there's an AI tool for it, uh, if you're willing to pay for it, generally speaking. And also on the flip side, kind of works counts that point, but a lot of those other tools, when you actually dig into them, turns out actually they're powered by literally the same stuff that chat gpt is using is yes. pretty much chat gpt in the background just yeah. working to a specific goal rather than 
it, it reminds me a little bit of of back in the days of search when pretty much everyone was just using Google's like Google search just plugged into their website essentially. So mm. with a lot of the tools in WordPress and things that we're going to be looking at, essentially a lot of them are going to be using chat GBT on the back end. You're generally speaking, just paying to have it plugged into your website and have the ease of use of having it, you know, attached to your website and stuff like that. So you don't need a load of plugins. I found when I was building my website, actually just using chat GBT for a lot of it was, was was fine um but there are instances where you will need to use plugins and things and we're, we're going to go through some of this stuff now i think because uh if i if i know what the next slide is yeah so here's where we, where we kind of found it can really help so content improvement so existing improving existing content and copy that you've got um content generation so like if you want to make a blog post for example whacking your thing into any of your content generation in, into one of the chatbot and uh, into chat gpt or into one of your ai generating tools image creation that's a really strong one um it's really good some of them are very powerful especially when you look at where it was like a year ago yes to what it is now it's yeah yeah video is the next one that's going to yeah, be on here as well videos are scary. That, 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 yeah the video up, so. is genuinely scary like if you go on open ai's website and oh what is it sora is it called sora is it sora yeah, something, like something like that but yeah like you can see some of the ones that, that um oh Fire alarm. Fire alarm test. Okay, good. <laughs> apologies. Apologies to the fire alarm it's a test. Bit late today. Yeah, I was a little bit. Normally it's a Tuesday, I think. But anyway, fire alarm. We don't. We don't have to go out, so it's fine. Um. But yes. Whereas yes. Yeah. Video creation. It's not there yet. You can't. It's not accessible to the public. But it's going to be at some point. Um. And there will be video generation kind of tools that you can buy at the moment. Um. But unlike uh, image generation, text generation, you can't just use it for free uh, at the moment. But yeah, that's genuinely scary uh, how good they are. Um, so I mean, yeah, it's going to be a, a thing. Um, what was next? So chatbots, these, this is a really interesting one, chatbots. You can just plug in a chatbot into your site like within a minute of just doing the plugin. Uh, we've got, we'll show you a bit later on. Yeah. Um, the one real thing with chatbots, and we'll come on to a bit, is just it has to be content aware because um, you can plug in a generic chatbot onto your website and if a customer comes on and asks it something, it's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's it, there, there is, a, I, we will show that anyway. Uh, SEO, self-explanatory, you can... Um, put in copy to into chat gpt for example and it can give you better copy based on the keywords you give it again we're going to show a demonstration of that so i won't go into it too much now security so like scanning for vulnerabilities all that sort of stuff how much that's ai i'm not sure but it more comes from the learning of knowing about previous breaches and things like that uh, more than anything analyzing your visit visit uh, analyzing your visitors um, so looking at how behave, people behave and things like that. So there's tools that will give you insights into that. Again, how AI is is debatable, but again, it comes from that kind of learning of the past and yeah. things and accessibility. Um, so uh, things like text-to-speech or that sort of stuff, it can help with that. So we went through and had a look at some of the tools that we thought were useful. Now there are a lot of tools um that come as pl various plugins for wordpress uh chat b chat gpt is a, the obvious one openai.com i think is the website yeah. um that that's kind of the, the the thing if you don't want to actually use a plugin you can just use that for most stuff to be honest um bing images again go on bing um i can't remember the name of the actual tool but yeah but just go on bing and search for um ai image generation and and you can use that for free you need a microsoft account um ChatGPT, I will just quickly note now is there's a free version where you can use ChatGPT 3.5 um, or you can pay $20 a month, I think it is, to get ChatGPT 4. Um, don't need to. Uh, I've used it a bit. It's better. I think it's more mm -hmm. conversational is kind of thing. There's, there's quite a few differences. I won't list them all here. Um, um, it does also give you access to the rest of the chat GPT tool sets as well. Like yeah. Image generation and stuff yes, like yes. Image generation is a good point. Actually, you can't use that for free on chat GPT. So, but yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, it is in dollars uh, just because of open AI, but you, it doesn't really make any difference. You don't pay with any card as far as I know. Uh, Katara web malware scanner is a good one. Uh, again, this is one that's just going to keep a, keep an eye on your site. The only downside with that is it's only going to tell you if you've got malware. Uh, it's not going to protect you against it necessarily. But um, Voicer uh, for accessibility, um, AI, AIO SEO or rank math for search engine optimization. 
um, and AI engine or con and for content and chatbot is a good one, AI engine, actually. What I would say is we're not necessarily saying these are the best or the worst. These are the ones that we kind of found while we were kind of making the site and stuff. They were quite useful. Um, and we, we kind of, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as say we recommend them. Um, but I found them quite useful. They're just some examples. There are some examples. There are plenty of others out there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so just go through a little bit about uh, some of these ones. So we talked about some topics earlier, content generation, SEO and stuff. So we just, we got a few slides here of just uh, kind of what, which ones you can kind of use. So content generation and improvement, um, chat GPT version 3.5 is free. Uh, yeah, it's a go-to solution for text generation and improvement. And I did tend to find this as any other solution that's generating content is either using chat GPT or an AI model that isn't as good as chat GPT anyway. Um, so, I mean, yeah, if you're generating content, I, I just found the easiest thing just to yeah, keep doing that. Um, keep generating content in chat GPT is just the easiest yeah. thing rather than using plugins. I think the only other one that I know of that's end of any kind of popularity anywhere close is Google's. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 and up for debate which one's better. They can be yeah, different. But I think I think by and large, a lot of people go with ChatGPT over Bard. But yeah. yeah, Bing is good as well. Bing have got their own. Yeah, but I mean, um, it's yeah. Microsoft at the end of the day, so you know, yeah. it's all going to be much of a muchness. I think uh, AI engine. So this is a it's a lesser known, I would say, um, tool, but it's 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 an interesting um, plugin. It does a lot um, with AI. You have to attach it to the chat GPT um, API, really easy to do. You literally go into your chat GPT account um, and pull an API key from the menu and put it into the, the plugin. That's why plugins are great. They make it nice and easy. But once it's plugged into your website, you can do, um, you can you can have your chat bots, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it generates your content based on certain things and, and yeah, it's good. Um, and again, yeah, we've already said that they're most likely going to be using chat GPT anyway. So, you know, it's... um. Yeah, probably the the least beneficial for having an app, I think, or a plugin even yeah, for, for content yeah, generation. This is definitely one where you can very easily just do what get get the content you need, or you know, improved or generated or whatever within ChatGPT and just copy it over. It's yeah. very simple just to put that into your website. Yeah. So for image generation, uh, Canva. Um, this is a free one and a paid one altogether. I, I didn't use this one. Use one you've used, I think yeah. you said in the past, um, and and found it to be good, and it's just got a good reputation. Yeah, I've, uh, this is definitely one. I think um, I know that this is used a lot for like social media posts and that kind of thing. Um, if people need to mock up some social media posts, either generate some ideas and like prototypes that they can work on and stuff like that. This is yeah. really good for that because it's very good at uh, like creating images, but also like overlaying text on top and stuff like that. It's very very good at doing that. Cool. Um, yeah, and the uh, the differences between, as far as I could tell, the differences between free and pro uh, was primarily the actual license that you have. Um, and that's going to be a really important one for image generation as a whole. Um, we, we mentioned it earlier on. Um, but like when, when it comes to image generation, uh, you need to make sure you know what license you have in terms of using that image. And also, again, that's a concern. You know, make sure when you're looking at it, there's nothing that is immediately visible as uh, and, you know, a copyright, copyright issue. infringement. Yeah, um, this is definitely I, like this. This and like video are definitely two areas where I'd say it really works as like a prototype. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it so much as to use it in a final version unless you're like, well, I mean, solid on it. We can quickly show my website, right? Yeah, like I used, I just to be honest, I just used AI to generate all my images. Just to be honest, because it's it's easier. I had to whip up a website. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of see, yeah, like. The, the the buttons on the arcades and stuff. I mean, those arcades in the middle are kind of joined. I I don't really know why. Just why not? Um, and I got I did some on my other website as well. If you've got my before version, um, I did want to show it. Like, oh no, but yeah. Again, um, this these were all generated in um Bing. These ones, uh, the ones on the other one were generated in my in for my theme, uh, my AI theme. Um, but again, yeah, these they just. It's just a bit strange in places. Yeah. Uh, first glance, it looks okay, but then you're looking at it like, is that just a box with some sticks on it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it, 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 as good as they are, um, you obviously, there's never going to beat your own kind of pictures of your own business and stuff. But mm. it, 
it is really good if you're trying to if you're trying to do something like mine were mine were fairly specific um pictures of an arcade that i did that doesn't actually exist so i couldn't really give it the best prompt um but the more the, there's it's a bit of an art of of giving it a prompt right to yeah. to to actually generate what you want it to um and sometimes you have to refine it and you can get some like really really impressive ai images that yeah. you wouldn't know were ai um mine were not it um yeah the other options here were dali 3 which is uh which is the 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 chat gpt one where you have to pay uh the 20 dollars a month um again i haven't used this one i haven't used um, no, I've, I've used the older version of this um and it's it is good it's really really good it's not free no um uh this is this is one of those ones where like when we're talking about stuff being scary like this is where it starts getting scary with how realistic it can yeah. make stuff. um but even even though it's realistic and it may look better than something you've generated in, say, like Bing or something like that, um, the same considerations and concerns still need to apply about whether or not, you know, what what's in the image, has it has it accidentally generated something that might be a copyright issue, etc. Um, so just something to be mindful of. Um, and then you've also got Mid Journey, which is another one that I've used as well. Um, this one's a bit more awkward to use, so I probably probably wouldn't recommend it for for most people. Um, but again, it's this that that's really good for kind of iterating on images as well. So that's a really good tool for that. Yeah, cool. Um, so next up, we're going to just talk about SEO, and I think we were going to just quickly show you how we can use it. Um, so ChatGPT is really good. It can give you tips on how to improve your content wording um, yeah. if you give it some context. So you can use it to create page descriptions, page titles, all that sort of stuff. So uh essentially i think tom's just going to show you here i gave him a prompt yeah. um so this is something i did is i i've got some copy here for my website these are the keywords i'm targeting can you improve my copy to kind of in include those keywords in there um so this is kind of what we did um and i think so the prompt here is that just basically saying asking can, can you improve uh, content for seo giving it some target words to focus on so key phrases that you know work for seo and then below that then you put in the copy that you've already written and this this is an example of like iterating on on that text uh, this is this is a live so this is a live prompt now so this is yep. hopefully going to work hopefully it works hopefully, hopefully chat cheap isn't down or something so i'm going to hit enter and it's gonna oh, I was thinking about it think about oh, it i was thinking about it and really important down the bottom there chat gpt can make mistakes. yes it can and will make mistakes that's yes my experience it's, it sometimes it's confidently wrong so yes. oh yeah no yeah i've, I've had arguments with with chat gpt about you know what what are straightforward facts it should be able to find this is taking oh, it's a actually yeah, i was gonna say normally this is pretty much instant so yeah, yes you'll see it like blitz past yeah it, i mean ultimately you know it's going to come out with it's going to come out with some better copy at the end of yeah. it I, we, if it doesn't if it doesn't do it now it doesn't normally take this long normally it's instant but obviously it's not because this is the one we were like oh yeah we can just do a live prompt on chat gpt it'll be fine we've pre-recorded a lot of other clips and stuff because we were like the website will be down or something will be broken so let's pre-record how we did it and then you know but yeah th this one thing that we thought oh yeah we'll just do this live is it because you're you, do you need to refresh uh, oh, oh try again try again no no it's not happening. Really sometimes this can happen when chat gpt is particularly busy or loaded and yeah. i haven't seen it for ages actually no, it's, back it's, in the early days it happened a lot but recently it's not been not been doing that but yeah, you have to take a word for it on that one uh, yeah but <laughs> I, I i would imagine that a lot of people um are probably aware of what of, of, of when it comes to text generation what chat, PT, yeah. chat gpt can do i did this on my account to test it before and basically what it comes back is like certainly i can do that for you and it gives you a better version of the copy including those keywords and then yeah it you get the idea. It doesn't really going to be a hugely beneficial to see what it comes out with anyway. So, exactly. yeah, that that, that is typical. I, is, I, they're cursed. I'm pretty certain these are cursed. <laughs> um, all right, okay. What was the next up? So on SEO, so all-in-one SEO. So this is a really powerful tool, even without AI. Um, AI, yeah, all-in-one SEO um, basically covers everything from content optimization to improving your linking structures and providing audits. So it will tell you what's good, what's bad, or the rest of it very good. 
Um, all of our stuff isn't necessarily AI driven and the AI driven stuff is locked behind their pro subscription. So you won't get the AI, but again, it will do some similar sort of stuff to this, like give you tips on, on kind of um, what you can, what keywords you can target and um, does keyword analysis as well. Um, a bit of uh, competition analysis and stuff like that. So you can get some benefits from the AI, AI stuff. Um, I didn't try the pro version of it. Um, but yeah, essentially that's what it does. I mean, it's a good plugin for WordPress. I would recommend having something like this. If you've not got a, an, an SEO plugin anyway, yeah. then I mean, it's, it's a no brainer to kind of get what rank math is also a very good one. Um, a, a fairly complete kind of, um, tool where it'll just tell you all this stuff and you can plug in your Google analytics and stuff to it and it will give you feedback on, on what your users are doing and tips. So that's where the AI part of it does really come into it and it can be really beneficial. Um, and they do offer like, you can, I think they offer a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So it's fairly risk free if you want to yeah. just try it out. And I think again, it's, we mentioned chat GPT a lot in all of these topics. Um, chances are like every single plugin that we're talking about, like what it's doing is it's taking literally chat GPT, but it's just, it's asking it the right questions that it knows how to ask. So everything that that stuff's doing is stuff that you can do outside of these plugins primarily, like if it's anything AI related. Um, so it's always worth keeping that in mind. Like we're talking about paid plugins and stuff, but all of us can actually just do yeah. it for free as long as you know. If you know, yeah. But again, having it content aware on your website yeah, is the big is. benefit yeah, yeah, of yeah. it, isn't it? I yeah, think, sure. yeah. Sure. Not having to kind of tell chat GPT everything. Yeah. Is that it's convenience i think is what you're paying for yeah now chatbot this is a good one so ai engine is 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 where we kind of use so this one is probably my favorite thing i found when we were apart from making space invader buttons probably my favorite part of using doing this sort of this bit of me so it's really easy to put a chatbot ai chatbot on your wordpress website now i did pre-record myself doing it this is. one so we know it's going to work unless so we'll the, the video again. doesn't stream Wait for it. All right, here we go. So I uh, will see here. Uh, I'm going to have to look to my left to see. So this is the um, the AI engine and literally just go in, uh, I'm in the options. You can find the chat bot. So you're seeing their content aware. So by default on the not paid for version, this isn't content aware. So you are just putting a chat GPT prompt on your website. Benefit, oh, you can't see that. You can't see the chat bot. It's down behind our screen. Oh, yeah. So you can see, I just clicked on it there in the recording, but yeah. <laughs> It's fine. Basically, what that did is just put a little, a little chat. In fact, if you go on the live website, I think I left it there. Oh, so okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, maybe. Uh, did I? I did can't you? remember if I did. did you? Oh. Did you actually? Yeah. Can you find it? Can you show it? Is this oh, did I? Did, oh, yeah. There, you can't. It's behind the thing. There's a little. It doesn't really matter. Like, there's a there's a there's a chat bot like button. As you see I, on most websites, like I, a little chat to us button. I've moved this over. Oh, you've moved this over. <laughs> so, like, so literally, just by installing the plugin, I did have to connect it to my Chat GPT account, and you have to the the way the API works is you have to have um, credits in your account. It's pretty easy to do. There's like literally loads of information on how to do it. Once it's connected, you can put ChatGPT in there. They've got different models. You can put ChatGPT 4, 3.5, depending on the account you've got um, with OpenAI. Um, and it also plugs into like Bard and stuff, I think, as well. How far did you um, get into doing this? Uh, I ask it a question? And you can ask it a question, knock yourself out. It's not going to be very helpful. Like if you ask it, yeah. See, this is, this is the danger of it. Here we go. So that in itself i've just put a chat bot on my website as you can see that it is not content aware because i didn't have the pro version however if i can't show you that where you saw in that thing there was a, a button to click and you can make it content aware and if you make it content aware you spend a little bit of time tweaking and getting it ready but what you can have is a chat bot that will tell people everything they need to know about your website like Tom asked it there, what games have you got? It would have known. If I'd made it content aware, it would have known. And it's really, really invaluable from that perspective to have a chat bot that can, that can kind of deflect a lot of that contact that would have been coming through web forms, would have been coming through phone calls, would have been coming through emails, all of this stuff, um, or would potentially put your customers off. Like you can set that up in an hour and have a, a chat bot that works well on your website in WordPress. Like it is really powerful. Um, and like I say, that um that that particular thing with that particular plugin is that that's showing properly now, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Um 
AI engine is I can't remember. You pay one, you pay for one, you pay like a lifetime, um, a lifetime membership essentially. And again, there's a 30 day money back guarantee on that one. So there are options. So Tidio is another one, um, a professional option for established businesses. So you can do the flows and everything like that. Um, it, it's re these chatbots, these AI chatbots are one of the biggest benefits, I think, of yeah. this kind of AI plugins for WordPress. But you have to make it content aware. Otherwise, you are just putting a chat GPT prompt on your website. And from a custom experience point of view, they're going to chat to it thinking it's going to tell them what they want to know about your website because that's why they're on there. They didn't come on your website to talk to chat GPT about yeah. life. Um, so, yeah, you've got to make it content aware and test it and make sure it works properly. But a little bit of effort and that first, like the, the statistics around how much content, how much contact these sorts of things re like reduce massive. Yeah. I think that's this is one of the few implementations where no yeah you probably want to get a paid version if you want it to work yeah oh you need to have a paid version if you want it to work but it, it, like i say the payoff you can see you have to spend that much like that ai mm. ai engine isn't that expensive you do have to pay for um if you say for example you in 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 that one in ai engine you select which uh, AI model you want it to use, and then you have to connect it to that API. It, it sounds complicated, it's really not. Great thing about WordPress, you literally put your API key in the box that says API key, and it's really easy to find. You're done, Job, jobs are good. And um, and you, then you just have to pay uh, OpenAI, you fund your account, and, and that's it. It's really straightforward. Um, so yeah, it's very beneficial. Let's crack on, because I, like <laughs> I feel like I've gone over a little bit here, so. Um, Security, fairly self-explanatory. So Akis, Matt, everyone knows um, who's got WordPress knows this one. So again, um, you can use that to filter out spam comments. It's very good, very powerful. Again, a very good thing of AI is it's very good at detecting spam comments and just getting rid of them and making your life nice and easy if you get a lot of spam. Um, and then Katara Web Malware Scanner, which one we said about before. So it, it does scan your site, actively sites just Skype for mal malware, viruses, and other security threats. Again, security, another one where AI is really good because it, it knows what it knows what it's looking for. It's, it's getting fed data from every other website that uses this as well. So yeah, it's good um, and integrates with other popular tools. I'm not going to go into much more detail on that one. I think the only thing I'd say about those is like, they sound really good, but don't, necessarily rely on them only as like your website security I don't think i put yeah. this on and that's it i'm done yeah because it will um, detect threats but it's not going to protect you they're necessarily good, yeah. they're good as extra tools to help yeah you, yeah yeah don't rely on them Sorry. protection uh, uh accessibility is the last uh, main slide and then i have my i'm going to show you how you can make a cool space invader widget if you want to <laughs> i really want to show you that thing i know i can't i haven't got it on there at the moment but there we go um so accessibility, voice uh, access widget, similar sorts of things. So voice automatically converts text into human speech. So this is for people um, visually impaired. Um, you can easily do it in the translator and everything like that. So again, not free, not overly expensive. If you're interested in making your site more accessible, really great plugin. Yep. Um, access widgets a bit more, um, it's a bit more in depth. Um, it's, it's more expensive as you'd expect, but it scans your website. It, gives you tips and things on how you can improve things. So again, if you're really into your accessibility, which is really useful, certainly for bigger sites, you might be more, have more visitors. Um, it's, it's probably worthwhile doing that sort of stuff. Uh, it's a really quick way of using AI to improve your website um, usability and customer experience. So, yeah, and the last one I want to talk about is probably my favorite thing. And I've annoyed Tom with this so much because I'm not a designer. And it's one of these things of just because you can doesn't mean you should, but you can. One of, WordPress is a, as we know, very flexible tool um, and you can add your own code to it to kind of do your own thing. So I had a bit of a play with this. Now, bear in mind, I am not a coder. I am not a developer. I don't really know how to code. Um, and oh, you, is that showing up on screen now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did, um, I wanted to uh, make my website background um, nice and fancy. It was a bit boring. It was plain. I wanted something nice. I wanted to make a gradient. So what you're, yeah, Tom can always replace if you want to see it. Basically, I asked ChatGPT. I was like, make me a background with a CSS, um, with a CSS, um, you can see it on the screen now, it's blank. I don't know what I'm putting over there. You guys can't see it over there. But basically, I, I, I got it to generate me some code for a background. And as you'll see, see what it did here. Wait for it. 
So here we go. I'm putting in the code that it generated. I got it. I put it into the WordPress backend. I'm now doing this, uh, putting in the, the the CSS code that I asked it to generate for me. The the oh, the tag. I can't think of the name for it. Um, and now essentially, and you're going going to the main website. Hey, okay, wait for it. And then, so we go over to the main website, and we can see that with absolutely no coding skills whatsoever, I made a animated background um, with, with just that. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but this is just supposed to be an example. Like, and you know, I, I've done the same. I wanted to make my button. I didn't do the Space Invaders one for the video. But basically, I did this same thing to make a Space Invaders video that went, a button that went side to side and like fired the little Space Invaders button. It is genuinely amazing what you can do with uh, with getting um, ChatGB to generate code for you. Um, so what you're seeing there is ChatGBT generating me the code to do these things. I put them into the custom CSS um, part in the back end of WordPress. What's worth noting is I did ask um, ChatGPT to assign a div class to it. So I said under the div class AI button, for example, literally copy and paste that, paste that into the WordPress custom CSS section. And then all I got to do on the front end is put this, the custom CSS class that I chose, that AI button, which is what I did there. And now you can see that button is like pulsating. Again, I'm not a designer. I, I could have made it better. I just wanted to show an example um, that kind of worked. Um, but having basically essentially that 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 expertise in in ChatGPT to create any kind of custom CSS that you want um, is really powerful um, and and probably the one the biggest benefit I found of using kind of AI on a lower level to improve your WordPress website. The possibilities are kind of endless with that one, yeah. um, and again, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Uh, as yeah. I can prove <laughs> with my expert designing skills. I mean, again, I think the point, the point that uh, I think we've been trying to make this whole time is that when you're, when, especially when it comes to generating content with AI, it's really, really good for for the prototyping stage. Like yeah. you're just having an idea of like, I want this thing to do this, and then you can, for example, if you want something on your website to do something specific, you can ask it to to write that out in. Yeah. If you don't even know that much, you can ask it, "How would I do this?" You yes. Know, like, what? You know how what um what program language does it need to be used? Where yeah. where do I put this? I mean, it's really good for a you know a novice or a beginner to be able to kind of approach it, get a prototype together, and then you know potentially approach a professional and say, "Hi, I've made this prototype using AI. Could you make this? Yeah. Um, you know how how could this be improved? Could you make this better? Um, I, that's that's the same for the image generation stuff as well. Like you can prototype you know a logo or or something that you you know you want and it get it as close as you can to what you want yeah and then you can take that to a professional and say hey I, you know this is the prototype i've got could you make you know could you improve this could you make this into a real thing yeah um, i think that's really what the what uh, ai is really good at right now yeah yeah i would agree full heart wholeheartedly because like sometimes you can't quite get it what you want but yeah whereas before you would have to pen and pencil it yeah and i can't draw now i could just ask ai to prototype me something and yeah exactly yeah, it's really powerful. Um, and I think that is the end of our presentation. Now, if you wanted to test out any of the sort of things you've seen there on a WordPress package of fastest, we do have a get your first month free on any WordPress package code on the screen now. Um, if you want to test it, uh, that is only valid till tomorrow. So it's, um, if you want to do it, just go and have a look. Don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, it's there if you want to yeah. have a bit of a test and a bit of a play around. Yeah, valid on any any of our WordPress packages. So. Yeah. Um, but if anyone's got any questions, I think there's a huge number of viewers, so I don't suspect there will be any. However, if uh, if you've got any questions, please knock yourself out and ask in chat. Uh, we'll keep this going for about a minute or so. If we've not had any questions, we'll close it down. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. We appreciate your time um, and come to see us. Um, there'll be another live webinar next month keep an eye on the perk section uh, be posted up there soon and yeah thanks very much for your time just give it give it a couple minutes yeah Let's give it a minute I guess so I don't think there's too many people so I doubt we'll get any questions but yeah I never know yeah I think one uh, one thing to know about AI is like what we're seeing now and what we're impressed by now like when you look at where it was a year ago and where, 
it's it's almost scary to consider where it's going to be yeah in a year oh my gosh yeah the, the video the, the video videos is, is the stuff that really mad. got me because it's just that is it just looks so real yeah. I mean, I, if anyone's ever seen the uh the, it, it would have been going around last year of the the ai generated will smith eating spaghetti and like the terrifying kind of blurred image yes yeah and yeah did it again did it and it's like oh it's like it could have just been will smith no you know that was will smith no no yeah he did that and yeah they did another one. Oh, did they oh yeah, yeah i haven't yeah. seen that that was so, because yeah fair play to will smith because yeah he yeah. he recreated it actually in real life and i haven't seen the the ai generated version of it yeah. but yeah i mean out. unless i just got fooled by I'm pretty certain I saw two. I saw one that was definitely. <laughs> Who knows I'm anymore? But that's the thing. Right? That's the thing. That's, that's it is. Gone. It is. Yeah, it is scary. Uh, there's um, uh, my favorite uh, early AI video was like Pizza Hug Smart. I think it was like a fake AI, ad. and it's it's just it's like a nightmare of just weird, strange things of people yeah, like yeah, three yeah. arms. It's it's almost a little bit like um, a Cronenberg sometimes. And then like the the newer stuff is just yeah I mean this, yeah. how quite fast it's come on in a year I, you're just not going to be able to believe any video you see basically mm. yeah there's a lot of yeah especially from from like um, camera companies in particular because obviously like a lot of their business is people who take stock photography and yeah stuff like that. so um, I know that they're kind of coming together to kind of almost create like a identification method that's kind of like a standard across the yeah. country and i assume something similar will be happening with, so that you can't video as well so that you know it's real yeah and yeah. it's definitely a necessity i think with uh, the way you know the way everything's going yeah, uh, yeah and how, sure. how good it's getting um but yeah there's definitely uh these days more than any it's definitely um question everything you see yes. don't just take everything at face value nope. you look into it um fake unless proven otherwise yeah Right, I uh, no questions, so I think we'll call it a day there. But like I say, thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching the recording and you've made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.